I was scuba diving a week ago at Tunnels Reef on the north shore of Kauai at about 40 feet deep in a beautiful area. And as I was cruising with the school of Menini, I noticed something moving on the reef, just barely, just a flicker of an eye. When I went over and got closer, I noticed it was an octopus, a day octopus. Sometimes it's a rare find to see one of these because they blend in with the environment. The Hawaiian name is He'e, and the Japanese name is Taco. They use both those names here quite commonly in Hawaii. As I was watching the octopus, it slinked underneath a piece of coral, changed colors, and changed shape in an amazingly quick period of time. As I got a little closer with the camera, the octopus filled its air sac and its head filled with water and bolted off across the ocean to another peak outcropping of coral. The octopus has a sac in its head and as it fills up with water, it pushes the water out of a siphon and propels the octopus forward. These are amazing creatures. They can go forward, backwards, upward, or down and change shape at the same time. Once it got to the new outcropping, it immediately changed to a silver color. I was amazed to see how fast, faster than a chameleon, faster than any animal I've ever observed, they change their colors. These octopus have cells in their skin that go up and down, and they actually squeeze the cells and color pigment goes up and down instantly, changing the color of the octopus. Once it got threatened again and bolted off that rock onto the next rock, it went back to a brown color. With its tentacles, they can cling to the coral and the reef, and they have a very sharp beak called a radula. As they move around the reef, they try to change colors to the background, so hopefully predators or divers won't be able to see them. They're really one of the most amazing creatures I've ever seen under the ocean. Highly intelligent. They live in holes during the nighttime. These octopus are out during the day most of the time. And at night, they actually take round rocks and line them up on the outside edge of their hole. And if a predator comes by, they pick up the rocks to block the hole so the predator can't get in after them. Once again, they're really, truly a rare find and one of the most amazing creatures I've seen underwater here in Kauai.